Hey everybody and welcome to episode 274 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, January 27th, 2016. <laughs> So Ricky, lots going on in the world of comics over the last week. We had, uh, of course, the Suicide Squad trailer. Which was crazy. It made me really want to watch the movie. Before I didn't want to, now I do. Made me really want to listen to Queen, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we also had some new information surface about the Batman Superman movie. Apparently Darkseid might be referenced in the movie. What? Really? Introducing his, uh, you know, appearance into the DC Cinematic Universe. You know, it took Marvel like five, no, not even five years, like ten years of teasing Thanos. And now BVS is just going to be like, you know what? DC, DC's got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> but that's not how you do it. You got Luther, Doomsday, Darkseid. Anyone it's else you want to throw in there? You guys, all the heroes, and all the heroes, it's gonna be a total mess. No, man, it's gonna be great. Uh, and then, uh, news that there could be a DC relaunch coming our way again. Why DC sales have been hurting, it's no secret out there. I mean, other than their main books, uh, a lot of their other titles uh, have been struggling to find an audience. Uh, so maybe, maybe the relaunch is a good shot in the arm that they need. No. Well, okay. Oh, they, I, at least they shouldn't label it a relaunch. They should just... Well, they haven't called it a relaunch them. yet. That's Those yeah, are my words, that's right? True, that's true. Like what they do with the Batgirl. You know, keep the same numbering, just change the story. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I think they want the uh, injection of the, the number one. So you're going to see number ones one way or the other. All right, enough chatting about uh, the last week in comics, Ricky. Let's go ahead. we got work to do. Open some boxes. Okay, while Ricky's putting all of those comics away, I implore you to visit store.stadiumcomics.com and check out the latest uh, variant collector's packs we have up there for pre-order. There's uh, two very important ones that you don't want to miss out on. First is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number one variant collector's pack. There's all kinds of covers for this book. We have um, collector's packs starting as low as $14.99 which will get you a good amount of covers for the book going all the way up to $4.99 if you want to go all out and need to have all the covers. Uh, the cool thing is, is the regular covers by a good friend of ours, Jamal Campbell, uh, who we've had at the store uh, a bunch of times and we're so happy to see his, uh, his work take off and uh, be recognized by companies like Boom in this case and Marvel for his other covers. And the other one to check out is the newly announced Star Wars ongoing series featuring Poe Dameron from uh, Force Awakens. This is the first Star Wars comic that fully ties in with Episode 7 Force Awakens and uh, it features everyone's favorite X-Wing pilot in an ongoing series. Again we have uh, Poe Dameron packs for every budget. The first pack starts at only $29.99. Features a whole bunch of cool covers including a BB-8 variant cover, which I haven't seen yet, but you know it's going to be awesome. Uh, and then uh, the packs on that go all the way up to $4.99 as well, depending on uh, how all-in you want to go with Poe Dameron. I don't know about you, Ricky, but Poe Dameron's an awesome pilot, and I wouldn't mind going all-in an X-Wing with him. I'm about Podo. So check those packs out and more at store.stadiumcomics.com. Uh, rumor has it there's a Gwenpool uh, collector's pack on its way as well, but that's not up on the site yet. Stay tuned for that. Okay, moving on to the collectibles. We have this Dorbs Rides Invisible Jet featuring Wonder Woman. We've got the latest in the Kotobukiya Artifacts DC Comics statues, and uh, this month's statue is Red Hood. Another Harley Quinn keychain this week. This one's based on Arkham Knight. And we've also got two new Arkham Knight action figures in Azrael and Professor Pig. We also have this Arkham Knight figure. It is Man Bat. We have got the Mattel action figures from the Batman v Superman movie Dawn of Justice. Here we have uh, Epic Battle Superman. And then we have Shield Clash Superman, Gauntlet Assault Batman, Wonder Woman, Battle Armor Batman, and Grapnel Blast Batman. All right, moving on to the collected editions, we have Invader Zim Volume 1, and then we have Groot in hardcover. 
All right, we have Jupiter's Circle, Volume 2, Issue 3, East of West, number 24. Ninja Turtles Ongoing, number 54, has these two covers. Here is the Ninja Turtles variant, Chew, number 54. Doctor Who, 10th Doctor, Year 2, Issue 5. Hench Girl, Issue 4. Conan the Avenger, number 22. Transformers, Sins of the Wreckers, Issue number 3. Here's the Sins of the Wreckers variant. Monstrous, Issue 2, gets a second printing. And new on shelves today is Monstrous Issue 3. Rick and Morty number 10 has these two covers. Outcast Issue number 15. From Justin Jordan and Aftershock Comics, we have Strayer Issue number 1. New from Image Comics, we have Cry Havoc Issue number 1. Uh, it's got these two regular covers. Here's Saga Issue number 33. Gem and the Hologram starts a new storyline today. It is Dark Gem Part 1. And instead of our, uh, you know, flashy hologram type uh, gem logo, we've got a glossy black logo. And uh, there's a few different covers. This is the first one, the second, third, and the fourth. Uh, there's some other covers too, uh, but I'll just show you those ones for now. Now if you want all of the black metallic foil logos that I showed you, you can get them all in this one handy slipcase uh, from IDW. This is $24.99 US. And it's got five variants of that comic inside. Ghostbusters International number one is out today and it has these two covers. And from Valiant, we have Faith number one out today. This is a, a big issue. A lot of people are talking about this. Faith, of course, from uh, the Harbinger books, now with her own series. Uh, this is the regular cover. Moving on to DC Comics. We have Black Canary number seven. Deathstroke number 14. Here's the Deathstroke coloring book cover. Speaking of the coloring book variants, something very special came in our shipment today. It is DC uh, Comics pencil crayons. Now, you may think that this is gonna be something that's gonna just blow your mind, being that they're DC branded, but all it is really is this package of Sargent Art 12 uh, pencil, colored pencils with a DC Comics sticker on it. So, um, Either that is going to blow your mind or it's not, but it is what it is. And if you're into collecting DC Comics stickers on Pencil Crown boxes, you can do that this week. Here's Aquaman number 48. Here's the Aquaman number 48 coloring book cover. Grayson number 16. The Grayson coloring book cover. Justice League 3000 number 8. Teen Titans number 16. Here is the Teen Titans coloring book cover. Lois and Clark issue 4 and the coloring book cover for that book. He-Man The Eternity War number 14, sadly no coloring book cover for He-Man. We Are Robin number 8, coloring book cover. Batman and Robin Eternal number 17. Superman number 48, coloring book cover. JLA number 7, coloring book cover. Robin War issue number 2. And the start of a new 6 issue miniseries, it's Suicide Squad. Most Wanted, Deadshot, and Katana, issue number one. Moving on to Marvel, we got a bunch of uh, Deadpool $1 issues again today. Deadpool the Musical, Evil Deadpool, Deadpool the Variants, and this is literally just a bunch of pinups uh, that, that reproduce some of the Deadpool variants over the years. Then we also have second printings of Spidey, number one and number two, a second printing of Carnage, issue two, and a second printing of All New Wolverine, number two. We've also got second printings of Amazing Spider-Man, number six, and Rocket and Groot number one. Captain America, the Marvel Cinematic Guidebook. Captain America Civil War Prelude, issue four of four. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, issue number three. All New and Humans, number three. Angela, Queen of Hell, number four. Deadpool and Cable, Split Second, number two. Back to the Future tribute cover. Carnage, issue number four. Spider Woman number three. Guardians of Infinity issue number two. And we were talking about Jamal Campbell earlier in the show when I was talking about those, uh, the Power Rangers issue number one. Uh, and here is an example of Jamal's handiwork here on the cover of Guardians of Infinity. Star Wars Canon issue number 10. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number four. Venom Space Knight number three. Daredevil number three. Extraordinary X-Men number six. Here's the Daredevil variant, which is a design cover. Here's the Carnage variant. And new today we have Old Man Logan number one. He's sticking around after Secret Wars. If you're a big fan of Old Man Logan, you definitely want to pick up this ongoing series. We have an action figure variant for that book. The hip hop variant, Canadian flag there, nice touch. The Deadpool meme variant, this is, 
This is, uh, you know, for us Canadians, this is uh, an epic moment in Canadian history. The, uh, the Asian kid at the Vancouver Canucks Stanley Cup riots uh, screaming, come at me, bro. Uh, but this time it's Old Man Logan. And here is uh, the other variant cover for Old Man Logan. All right, while Kevin's putting away the books, psh, look at that guy working like a plebe. <laughs> Anyways, last week we asked you guys uh, what superhero would perform a mundane job pretty awesomely. Got some hilarious answers. Skylar Powers said Deadpool can be a crash test dummy since he can regenerate his health back. Lol. It was so good he lolled himself. Deadpool would definitely be a really good te crash test dummy because uh, he could give the scientists back like literal information about what happened to his body. It'd be great. Joel Stanley said Reed Richards would be a perfect plumber, especially when a huge dump clog the toilet. I just hope he doesn't use his head. Now, Joel Stanley, why would he ever use his head to unclog a toilet? Well, this is Reed Richards we're talking about, and he's the smartest man in the world, and he's just gonna be like, you know what, there's a toilet full of poop, let me stick my head in it. I, I don't know, it could happen, perhaps, maybe. Matt Murdock said, it's obvious Flash as a pizza delivery boy, the company could change its slogan to 30 seconds or less. Whoa, 30 seconds or less, stepping up the game. Though they're going to have to find a way to cook the pizza in like, you know, 29 seconds. So I don't know how that's possible. Deep fry it, flash fry it. Maybe, who knows. Isaiah Das Variks said, I think that Squirrel Girl would make a great groundskeeper for a park in the sense that she could make all the annoying squirrels not take all of my sweet, sweet, sweet trail mix. This comment, of course, was so great he had to post it four times on the YouTube uh, comment board, <laughs> which he was probably having issues with his computer or with YouTube, and he was like clicking it multiple times. But don't worry, Isaiah Desverix, I saw you. I saw you. But the winner for today, who will go into the draw that will be later today, goes to goes to Dominic Nijeron, who said Nightcrawler as an Uber driver. Get it? I think that'd be great. Nightcrawler would play a great uh, Uber driver. He'd go around collecting people, maybe teleporting. Who knows? Who knows? So congratulations, Dominic Nidron. You'll be going in to the draw that'll be happening right now. All right, so let's uh, let's go through all the past comments and put them in the box. So we have Dominic Nidron this week who went in. We have uh, Real Mike Terra who said R two D blue. What was he talking about? I don't even know. <laughs> I remember. He was talking about the pencil crayons and the colors, which this week we got. So that's pretty good. Uh, Ken Ives said the first to die should be Alpha 5. He's so annoying. Good job. And the final person, Isaiah Dasmerix, she said, I think that the best comic of 2015 was I Hate Fairyland because uh, it was funny and wicked and a weird take on the fairy tale genre, not to mention its extremely violent visuals and hilarious humor. This is my pick for the best comic of 2015 all the way back in the beginning of January. <coughs> So we got them all up here in a box. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. We're gonna mix them around, mix them up, mix them up, and we're gonna draw a winner. Close my eyes. All right, and the winner goes to Ken Ives, who said the first to die should be Alpha Five. He's so annoying. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Ken Ives. So congratulations, Ken Ives. Send your information to uh, info at comicboxer.com and we will get you your comic boxer for that for this month. All right, guys, I'm going to put on my bald cap. <laughs> I am now Dan Didio, and I am sitting there at uh, DC offices in, over in uh, California. And I need you, the audience of uh, Unboxing Wednesdays, to pitch me your best uh, DC relaunch title for the relaunch coming up probably in June. Uh, keep in mind that as Dan Didio, I really like a weird and original stories. So if you tell me that uh, you wanna see a Batman story where he fights Superman, I'm gonna kick you right out of the office. So let us know in the comments your pitch 
for uh, new stories for the DC relaunch. Best answer will be thrown into the comic box here, draw box for a draw at the end of the month. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Please remember uh, to check out store.stadiumcomics.com because not only do we have that all, those awesome pre-order packs on there, but we started throwing all of our back issues online too. So anything from like the last, uh, you know, three, four weeks or older, you can find that now yeah. on our online store. It's like eBay, but you don't have to uh, fight with uh, people with infinite that's, money. That's it's right, and it's all uh, for less than cover price right now. You can connect with us using any of the websites listed here on our screen. Uh, I'm getting into Snapchat, Ricky, for the that. store. Yeah. Uh, so very early stages, still trying to figure it out. Having uh, having some uh, old man moments as I wrestle with yeah. the functionality of Snapchat. Have you been shaving down there, getting ready, or what? <laughs> no, no, there will be there will be no uh, none of that, none of that on the right. Stadium Comics Snapchat. And we'll see you guys all next time for episode two hundred and seventy-five of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your comics.